know if it's going to be good enough quality. Why did I do that on the Sunday day? Why? It'll be better over here. It'll be better over there. Most awkwardest video I must have filmed in my whole YouTube career. I bought a cup of tea from Dunkin' Donuts. Why have I bought a cup of tea? It's literally 22 degrees outside. Dunkin' Donut, obviously, there. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, it's Hannah here as always. So today we are doing my makeup in my car, we're getting glam in my car. Probably picked the worst day to film this because it's absolutely sunny beaming. Um, I've just been trying to figure out how I can film in my car. Two people in this car next to me were like literally staring me out so I was like, right I'm gonna have to move them because I can't. I haven't filmed in my car for ages so I feel a bit anxious anyway so I was like, oh my god. Um, I filmed my friend being like, where can I park? I've come out in spots as well guys. I've got this little cute bag for my brushes. So in this video I'm going to be using all of my favourite products because I feel like I've not got, like done like a recent favourite favourites video. So all the products I'll be using in this video are my favourite products guys. So this is the Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate Base. Oh my god I'm not even joking when I say it's oh my god this is running out as well. Don't you dare run out on me. I need the hydration right now. I've got a sunroof in my car as well and I can feel it beaming down on me. So my favourite foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love this to death in the colour sand. I don't have a lot of this left. Hopefully it suits me now. I mean I'm not even going anywhere guys to be honest with you so hopefully it looks nice. I've just got my hair cut as well. I wanted extensions being put in, but then I told, I was basically told I can't have hair extensions because my hair was too short anyway. So I was like, oh, okay. So then, oh my God, what is that? Oh, mate. So I was very sad about it. So I thought, oh, I might as well get it cut and then sorted out and stuff. I'm not gonna go too heavy on my foundation now because I'm, I'm not even joking. I wish I could turn on the air con right now because I am literally sweating. Too Faced Balance Way Foundation is my favourite because it's the most skin-like foundation I've found for myself. I'm more of a combination skin, um, but this is lovely. I do have to powder it down though because it can look a bit sweaty after a while. I might just keep this to face products and not do like the whole eyeshadow and stuff just because it is like ridiculously hot. How have you guys been doing? Let me know in the comments. What's lockdown been for you? I feel like we're almost out of it. I feel like we are almost out of it because I feel like everything's opening now. I can't go to work still. I'm a makeup artist, so, so I'm still waiting on the on the go ahead. And um, this is the Morphe sponge as well. This is one of my favorite products as well. Well, it's like a product, but not a product. It's my favorite like tool to use. This is the Morphe sponge that I bought, recommended by Jaclyn Hill ages ago. Do you know what? I was watching Jacqueline Hill the other day. This could be a very chatty video. I was watching Jacqueline Hill the other day and I was like, do you know what? She gets so much hate and that I just hate it when someone gets that much hate. But she seems like such a lovely, genuine person. I don't know what you guys think of her, but I was like, oh my God, she's literally one of the first like YouTubers I used to watch. I don't know if it's that one, if that's blended or not. Hopefully, hopefully she's blended. This is the Too Faced. Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. I absolutely love this to death. Oh, it's just such a nice consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's like a really nice highlighted colour as well. I'm going to take the sponge again and I'm going to tap that in. So yes, it's the colour Vanilla and I feel like it just looks absolutely amazing on my skin. I'm proper feeling the hair length, guys. I love a good short bob. I don't like my hair touching my shoulders if it's hot outside. I just get so agitated. So I don't know, if you've got long hair and like, <laughs> you must be so sweaty in the sun, that's what I always think, like Jesus Christ. Take the excess of that and go underneath my nose and stuff and just try to blend it into foundation as much as I can, basically. I always wonder like how the hell, I know like people born in hot countries are used to it, but how the hell does the makeup stay on? Like, Jesus Christ. This is what I've been using for my eye base. Um, if I'm going for more like a smoky look, I'll use the colour C8. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is just the oldie but the goodie one, the first one that came out with, not the jumbo size, just that one. I feel like it's four pounds. I feel like if you put a darker base on your eye, well to like match your foundation more, it's gonna be easier to like smoke it out with the browns and stuff. I only put a, like a lighter base on 
if I'm using colour and I want it to proper stand out. Like just use it off the applicator if I'm using it on myself and just pop it on like that. The applicator is quite, like it's good because it's like a big applicator. Um, it's cruelty free and vegan as well this which is amazing. To be fair guys, I do use a couple like um, high end products but mainly I use drugstore. And I feel like my channel is mainly drugstore products, which I, I obviously want to like show you guys all my drugstore products because I want you guys to see what's best in drugstore. If you like my kind of makeup vibe, that is. Okay, I have a look cute for you guys. <laughs> I look nice and cute. I'm actually going to take a break and eat my donut though because oh, oh my god, they're not even giving me a napkin. I'm going to be eating this. It's going to go everywhere in my car. I should have done this before I eat do my makeup, shouldn't I? Oh my god. In fact, at least it looks like I'm kind of waiting for someone to get back. Alright. What a noisy bag. Favourite thing in the world right now is the makeup revolution. Again, F13, the fast base stick. I love to use this as contour. I feel like, because it's red out as well, it might melt into my skin even better. Or I might look like an absolute idiot. I don't think I'm going to put too much on today. And I like to use the Peaches and Cream PC25 brush with this. And I kind of just like stipple it in. <gasps> Do you know what guys? That brush is so hot. It's been laid in the sun. Do you know what though? That's actually helped my blend. <laughs> oh, I'm using this mirror because Emma Fleming. If it, is it Emma Fleming? Please tell me I'm saying your name right. If you're watching this, I am so, so sorry. Um, yeah, Emma, she did a video like this and she did a get ready with me in a forest. I was like, oh my God, I literally want to do those videos. So I'm starting out with this video. I feel like if I went to a forest, I'd have to have someone with me. Because I feel so awkward just doing it on my own in a forest. Yeah, I kind of go over my eye as well, just make it a little bit more bronzy. Because I love that kind of bronzed effect up here. I don't know I said that, like that effect. I've never done my makeup in a car before, to be fair. I've done my, my lipstick, I've finished off, but not my full face of makeup. I wonder, I always think, like, do you know if someone sees me and get my Sula, my sweaty upper lip alert? Sorry, I almost forgot that part. I'm Wild Child, if you haven't watched it. I always think, like, do you know if someone's watching me? Do they think I'm going to, like, get ready for a boy or something? Do they think I'm going out to a party? What do they think I'm actually doing? Do they think I'm sneaking away from my parents? Like, I always think, like, if I saw someone doing this, I'd just think, oh, they're filming a video. But, like, my mum thinks it's so, like, not weird, but, like, she's like, what? What are you doing that for? My favourite bronzer has got to be the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in dark tan. I normally use dark golden if I'm a little bit lighter. <sighs> someone just stared at me then. But this is a really nice mineralized powder. I like to go straight over my cream contour. Oh, God, please blend. I feel like it's not going to blend because I'm sweating. <laughs> I need to stop saying that because I'm actually going to be annoying, aren't I? So I'm literally just going straight on top of that. I hope there's no CCTV around here. They're just literally... They're getting tips off me, guys, without watching my video. <laughs> I like to just dust that on top. The reason why this is my favourite bronzer is because it's super soft, super, like, olive toned, the colour. And it just literally just glides on like butter. Butter. I'm so northern. Oh, I hope I look fit by the end of this video because then people won't even judge me the black. She's just she's just looking fit. <laughs> this is my current favourite spray. This is the PS Prime and Infuse Instant Hydration Priming Spray. I know it's a priming spray, but I spray it whenever. It smells amazing. Mmm. I just want to spray that because it'll cool me down a bit. I think I've picked quite an alright area to film in just because it, we're near a motorway. So like people will be driving fast past here anyways. Hopefully. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my donut. I just wanna talk and chill with you guys. I didn't wanna sometimes I just like to get, to get ready and do my makeup and just talk to you guys about random stuff. That's just how I am. Dunkin' Donuts, I like the ones that have not got filling in them, but I feel really boring when I'm eating them. I'm like, this is just a like boring donut. Oh my god, I've just scraped it all over the bag. I've got nowhere to put this. Oh my god, I've got to not know where to put this. One minute. Right, I need to bake now because if not, this is not going to last. It's not going to last at all. Do you know what? My favourite and my only baking powder is this one. Again, Makeup Revolution. Banana light baking powder. 
This one's £6. I love the colour banana light because it's just got a little bit of like a yellowy tone to it. My favourite sponge to put it on with, the Real Techniques, the basic sponge. I made sure it's like nice and wet before I set off up. I'm going to bake the hell out of that eye. Oh, I feel so much better. I look great. You know what, sometimes if I have it too wet though, it goes a bit weird on my skin. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it goes a bit weird on my skin if I have it too wet, the sponge. So I've got to like pounce it in. Oh, I feel 10 times better with that powder on now. I feel like it's going to stay. Is this what oily, like proper oily people feel like? That they're just going to sweat the makeup off. What was that noise? Oh my God, I've just noticed I've got powder all down me. I just felt my under boob sweat. This bodysuit is from Zara. I'm a Zara gal now. Favourite blush? No, oh, Nars Orgasm. I just honestly, I think it's such a lovely colour. I wish they did it a little bit more, not pigmented, but like I feel like it just doesn't show up on me sometimes. Like that colour. Like, can you even see that? I'm not even like looking in the mirror, I'm looking in the viewfinder, so if this looks crazy. That's why. I have a highlight combo. So I have a darker one and I have a lighter one. This is the Barry and Bate Tri Blend Highlighter in Deco Bronze. I'm pretty sure they only do two colours in this, like the lighter and the darker one. I got this absolutely ages ago in um, Mitchell's first masterclass with Tatty Lashes. So yeah, let's just put this on, like, the smile a little bit and like, do you know what? Doing your highlighter outside actually does help. You can see, oh, beautiful. It's such a lovely highlight. I never use it for ages because it's like more of a metallic highlighter. But recently I started using it from I think like two, three months ago now. And I absolutely love it. But it's because you've got to be a little bit more tanned for this colour. It's such a lovely bronzy colour though. And you can just put it everywhere where you'd normally like sweats. And then I like to go on top with the Doll Beauty Doll Light Shine Bright highlighters love love the formula of these highlighters like look i don't even know like it doesn't look pretty it's just it's just good like it's such a lovely color as well this is my favorite highlight color i mean it's a little bit too bright for me right now but that's why i put that dark one on first i've got lips and eyes and brows to do I think eyes, I'm going to keep it quite simple. Realistically in this heat, I would not be wearing eyeshadow. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be wearing feet. I wouldn't be wearing any makeup to be fair if it's like this degrees outside because I want to tan. My favourite eyeshadow palette for like soft glam is a, is a soft glam Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. The Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose is exactly the same as this. This one is just a tiny bit more of a luxury quality, um, but if you can't afford it, the Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose one is so, so good and pigmented. Um, I just like, I bought this. I'm going to use it, guys. I'm not just going to buy this and then buy a Makeup Revolution one and bin this. It's not going to happen. Of course, I'm still going to use a £42 eyeshadow palette. This tops Modern Renaissance. Like, this has just got every kind of colour I like in it. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some bronzer on the top. I'm going to have a really nice, smoky lower lash line. Oh god, to, why did I just do that in my car? I'm not wearing a lot of eyeshadow. I kind of take my bronzer, that dark tan, and I just buff it. And then I kind of like to do a smoky lash line and that's about it really. Because as long as you do like something on the lash line, your lashes will just blend in really nice anyways. So I'm just blending this in the crease. Just where my natural crease is. Like if you want an expensive palette that you're going to use quite a lot, I would definitely just say that one. It's just nice to splurge on some products still. I don't think you don't have to have like all high-end products, but I hope you get what I mean when I say like, it's nice to like treat yourself to something a little bit more high-end now and then, and uh, like you just, you deserve a treat every now and then. Smoke out the lash line, but before I do that, I'm just gonna brush up my brows just because I'm staring at them and they are absolutely doing my head in. Still to this day, favorite product, MAC Fall Slash Maximizer. It's my favorite brow product. So I'm just brushing, oh, do you know what I forgot to bring in this video? Makeup wipes, I'm so glad I started off with my face first and not my bloody eyes. Yeah, this is just nice all round product just to brush up your brows. It stays put, it's like super glue for your brows. So I'm gonna use two shades from here just to smoke out the lash line underneath as well. So I'm just literally just gonna pop this on the lash line. I'm using that burgundy 
kind of dark brown from the palette because I like the way it looks. Because I don't want to use a black. But that'll just be too harsh. I could be outside tanning right now, but I'm doing this video for you guys. I hope you are very, very proud of me. Take a light colour and just smudge that out. This is the easiest makeup to do, but still looks super like soft glam vibes. But like that burgundy colour looks really nice as well because it's not, it's not your stereotypical like, it looks like brown, but it has a little bit of warmth to it as well. So if you've got blue eyes or green eyes, it'll really make that stand out. Literally the only reason I got this mirror, like out of all the mirrors I've got at home is because Emma used it and I was like, oh my God, if Emma's used it, I need to use it. <laughs> I absolutely love that girl, honestly. I'm i am not met her or anything, but I just, I feel like the beauty community is a bit of a mess. I don't think it's bad or anything, but I feel like it's just with the whole, I'm not even gonna like talk about it that much. I'm just saying like, Dramageddon. What is Dramageddon? Like literally, where the hell did that word even come from? If you've heard it before, you'll know what I mean, but like Dramageddon. I don't get it. I don't know why I put them brushes back in because I need to do my lower lash line. I've started just doing it on the outer third, the dark colour. Because it makes your eye look more smoky. I like a smoky vibe, we'll do that. I keep thinking this is a waste of makeup, but at least I'm getting a video out of it, guys. <gasps> I honestly thought someone was walking up to my car, then I shit myself. Why are people getting Starbucks, in fact? It's red art. There's so many people that have come and gone in Starbucks, and I'm like, why are you even here? Oh, we've got a boy racer. I've got another one. Nice no, motorbike. So that's my favourite kind of eye makeup to do. Do you know if I like, this sounds really weird, but like if I'm going to a christening or something and I want to feel glam still, like it was like, we're dressing nice. I would wear this makeup. I mean, it's a christening at the end of the day. You don't have to look super glam. But this is just like my, it's, this is like almost my go-to glam. Oh, this is the MAC Chromographic Pencil in NC15 to end of U20. I think this is technically a concealer. I love the colour of this. I know next one, next do a similar one to this as well. You'd have to get the MAC one, but it's such a lovely, like, if you don't want a white in your waterline and you want your eyes to look bigger, like just putting that in them is just, it's just so pretty. Cause sometimes when I put white in my waterline, if I'm more tanned, I feel like it looks too intense. This is Sweet Tea by Morphe. I made sure I sharpened it before I set off. I bought three of these when they came back in stock. I had no idea that these were even out of stock until Caitlin, I think it's Caitlin. Caitlin said it in a video. She was like, I've tried to get it for ages and it's out of stock. And I was like, what do you mean it's out of stock? What? And I panicked, went online thinking, oh, I bet it's back in stock now. No, it was out of stock for months, Sweet Tea Morphe Lip Liner. Absolutely the best lip liner. Well, it is on my skin tone anyway. I feel like a lot of people like it because it's like a really nice, it's like MAC Cork, but lighter, like just a little bit lighter. Morphe Bite Me is literally the same as MAC Cork, by the way. Everybody says that this is exactly the same as Strip Down by MAC, but I think this one's a little bit more warmer. I don't know more caramelly, which I actually prefer. So what I do with my lip liner is I kind of like a really thick line just because I want it to blend in with my um, lipstick. So I do use quite a lighter lipstick. But today, actually today I'm not. Um, this is my favourite, like literally, obvious. Obviously this is my favourite video. Um, MAC Yash Lipstick. It is such a beautiful colour. I've not used it since like... I think I started using it last December and I was like, why haven't I used this sooner? It is mine. Like, I love it to death. But I kind of use like the lipstick to kind of smudge the lip liner. I'm going to spray this one more time. That's not even cold anymore. It was cold when I first started using it. Oh, the smell of that. Do you know what? Mac did one with pineapple in it. I smelled it and I didn't like it. And this one's three pounds. You need to try it. The peach one's amazing as well. The peach one's absolutely divine, but I actually do prefer this one. Oh, in fact, let's put a gloss on as well. My favourite gloss is the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. I wish they did more colours in this because I only have that fortune cookie and then this one. This one is always, it's my favourite. The fortune cookie one is just a bit off in my opinion. Look at that. I'm so late to this as well. I remember like, when I worked at Mac, I was like, oh my God, that NYX Butter Gloss is amazing. And I'm just like, <laughs> when I used to use gloss back, back in the day, 
and there was no make piled me out and I was like tons and tons of brands every single lip gloss I used to use was like sticky and I didn't like a sticky feeling I feel like they look nice but see I've got options I brought two different pairs these are my new favorites by Sassy Lash it's the Kiki Lash I feel like these just look so much more prettier I like, oh, like these ones, but I'm gonna put these ones on. This glue has a whole story on its own. This is, it says it's latex free on the bottle. Um, is it latex free? I'm not too sure because where I bought it are falselashes.co.uk. Haven't even got back to me, by the way. I checked the ingredients after. Are you actually joking me? It says latex free on the actual bottle. And online it says it's got latex in it. <laughs> Great. Mascara, I don't really have a favourite mascara. I loved the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex mascara. This is just a private one called Fake It. It's two pounds. I'm not really fussed when it comes to mascara, guys. I'm just gonna be honest. As long as it doesn't smudge. My bottom washes, thank God, are so long. Not the thickest things ever, but they are so long, so. Kinda makes up for the awkward eye situation I've got basically. What awkward would it be if builders just turned up and were like, hi, we need you to move, we're building. But to be fair, I'm gonna show you what I mean. So in front of me, I've got free rocks. <laughs> so no one can like, no one can kind of go in. So I'm like, I'm kind of glad because then I know that I'm okay to like park here. Oh, uh, it's six o'clock and I'm supposed to be posting. Oh, rude. And someone will get back to you straight away. <laughs> rude. <laughs> Let me actually like, oh, I'm actually sweating. Ah! Oh my god! I can't! I'm dying inside. I'm, I'm actually dying inside. Matthew Husse has reposted my, my story. Oh, oh my god, hello. <laughs> you know what, Matthew Husse, if you haven't watched him, you need to. I didn't find him attractive at all when I first started watching them, to be honest with you. And I feel like it's the kind of thing where like, you get to know someone's personality. I am so open. <laughs> okay, I'm like, whatever. Um, yeah, you get to know someone, well, kind of. I mean, I watch them on YouTube. I think, it's like you guys knowing me, basically. But, oh, it's so fit now. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> You're all right, you are, yeah. And he's got such a lovely, like, way about him. He's just such a lovely guy. Well, I hope he is, anyway. I'm sweating because of that, not even because the sun right now. Why do I get his number? <laughs> it's in the UK now. <laughs> oh my god, it wouldn't be a drive with me video if I wasn't talking about males, dating, all that kind of stuff. We don't talk about boys on here, we talk about men. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the products I've used in this video will be in the description box below, so go check those out. Please give me a thumbs up for the effort of this video. I was inspired by Emma Fleming. I think that's how you pronounce her name. If you're not subscribed to Emma Fleming, you need to. She is literally like, she's just one of those genuine people on YouTube, and I think you should she, just check her out. She's like awesome. So yeah, and she just loves to like fun videos like this one. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If there's any videos you want me to do, suggestions, comments below, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Take your time out of your day to watch this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Guys, my my window is literally steamed up. I'm so hot. It's getting hot in here. So take off. No, I won't. I'll get close. Oh my god, someone literally just watched me do that. No. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you've done for me, for how you love me.